This could be really, really bad. The backyard is completely flooded. Mother the gravel is here. It is now time to prep for the concrete. We got Jordan up there on the dingo. He's eager to drive this thing and trash the front yard now that we've already ruined the back. Five tons of gravel doesn't look like a lot, but she heavy and we got a lot of work to do. So fire it up. So we're over here in the pit. We went eight inches down from where this existing pad is because we just want that to be a perfect no step. As much as this looks like a swimming pool and my wife and I kind of wish it was now, it's gonna be a concrete pad. So Jordan grabbed the first little dump of gravel. We're gonna build a little ramp so we can get the dingo in so we don't have to work more than we have to. When you have a machine like that, we're paying to use it. So we're gonna use it. Jordan. He's eager to run the dingo. I ran it all day yesterday, so I'm gonna let him destroy my front yard. He's gonna run in gravel, and I'll just stand here with the rake. We'll get to it. Jordan hasn't got off the bingo, and I haven't seen him smile as much ever since he's worked here, so maybe that's the secret to keep Jordan happy, to just let him drive things. I mean, it makes me happy. That wasn't too bad. Uh, I really thought we may be doing this all day. Two hours is all it took. Everything's pretty good. The next step is we need to tamp it. You wanna make sure that you have a very firm, solid base before you pour a big slab like this. As the recommendation of our concrete, guys that are bringing the concrete for us. They said to do four inches of gravel with four inches of concrete. So we've got about four inches of gravel here. I borrowed the oldest tamper in the world from my buddy Tim. It may try to kill us, but a good tip from Tim, he said to hose down all the gravel. There's lots of dust in this. And all that, when we're rattling around, tamping this stuff down, we'll just turn into a huge dust cloud. My neighbors will be pissed. I won't be able to breathe. It'll be terrible. So I got the garden hose out. We're gonna hose this thing down. Not too bad, but just enough to keep the dust down. And we'll get to tamp it. Tamp, tamp, tamp a root. We were at the store grabbing supplies for the next couple days and uh, torrential, like the worst storm I've ever seen came through. The backyard is completely flooded. All the gravel is completely filling with water. Got a river coming down the yard where the, we were driving the dingo. The dingo's in the driveway at least. I was about to go return that, but I don't know what I'm gonna do. This could be really, really bad. Meats is smoking and the boys have been playing with these rocks for two days. Now it's time to actually put them to work. We're gonna build the forms. They're gonna sit around here so when the guys come up with the uh, pump truck, we could just pour right in. We're not doing rebar or mesh because we are doing fiber in the concrete. I talked to some pros and that's the, they said that's the best way to do it. Uh, so that should save us some time here. Let's uh, get the form in. So we'll edge this with some nice fine stone here and it'll look pretty sharp. So the strings are gonna give us where we're gonna lay things out. So Sam is doing exactly that, just dropping a pin in. And then um, we'll take a little trench here. We've got two by sixes and we only need four inches in height. You don't know how to wet skate? I don't know. One thing that uh, we were told is pretty important here is we're gonna spray these with diesel fuel for a release. Once the concrete's coming next week. We're spraying them with diesel? Yes, you Great day. Maybe we just, just live with that. Nailed her. So Jordan and Sam dominated all that good stuff for the molds while I was on daddy duty. So to reward them, we're gonna fire up some ribeyes on the Pit Boss 1150. Show you guys how versatile this thing is. We're gonna do a smoke, bring these up to about 100, 105 degrees, and then we'll sear them off, get that nice crust on there. We've got some Pit Boss original seasonings. This should be the best lunch I've ever given the guys. So 
now that I've got these probed, I can actually track their temperature on the app that comes with the grill, which is awesome, which means I can get back to work. Let's go. This steak is dead. Blame the steak. These suckers are up to temp, so now I'm gonna pull the probes and then we're gonna fire this thing up to as hot as we can get it for a sear. And don't forget to stick around to the end of the video if you wanna win one of these from Pit Boss. Boys, eat my meat. I got a little overcooked because we were actually working. Not bad. Very good. Stick around to later in the video and I'll tell you how you can win one of these. Thank you, Pit Boss, for sponsoring this whole series. Ooh, a double. Mm. I'm slowly realizing I should have started a channel about telling the weather. Because everyone just tells me that we're wrong in how we do everything here. And the weatherman is always wrong because it's raining again. And uh, that would have just been par for the course. Because it had a 0% chance of rain today. No, I, I was just I, playing I, in the puddle. <laughs> Jordan, stop playing in the mud. We just need to fix that pin. All right, my children. From what we know and what we don't know, which is most of what we do know, but don't know much, this is gonna work. We're gonna stake around the back of it and then uh, we're gonna actually let this dry because it's supposed to be sunny out for the next day or two. And then from there, we'll get a couple more bags of gravel in here, bring everything up nice and level, damp it one more time, and then we're ready for the Crete, son. Ooh, damper. It, it's a damper. Look, I am dehydrated. <laughs> the next day. So we didn't want to mix six yards of concrete by hand, so we called them the Big Dogs. Awesome local company, Frank Bryan Concrete. They've been doing this since the 1800s. Bringing in the big guns, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so we're pumping the concrete. Basically, we're just gonna rake it around. Um, it was well advised through anyone we spoke to to pump it, not hump it in real barrels. But we did have to put a 2% retarder in it to keep it from drying out because it's about 90 degrees out right now. This is basically what the rest of our day is gonna look like until it starts to set up. So if you're watching and you wanna enter to win the pit boss giveaway, comment down below, pump it, don't hump it. So Justin here is one of the uh, fifth generation owners of Frank Bryan coming in because we're a bunch of idiots giving us a hand. Yeah, where's that other rake? <laughs> We're screeting this side out before we start adding more so we can work our way out. Uh, once it's all screeted, that'll give us the basically the top of the mold and then we're gonna work our way out. We'll float it then and edge it and do all that fun yeah, stuff. So they... oh, you're good. It's all part of the experience. It's too hot. I would ask someone who knows what they're doing, how it's going. But yep. they haven't told us we're complete idiots yet. Fantastic. Thank God for Justin. Go get that man some tea pros after this. <laughs> about 30, 20 minutes. 30 minutes. Twice the speed I thought we'd get. With your help, it's actually good. We're good. Astronomical. <laughs> we overfilled it, because uh, we don't know what we're doing. But I think it's probably pretty yeah. common. The steel barrel that was sacrificed earlier in the project is now getting sacrificed again. You want a second hand back here to help? I don't know what the f I need. This thing is so f flimsy and front heavy. I don't. I literally don't know how to do it. Maybe go halfway out a little bit where it'll it'll start to ride. Should I just get in it? You can get in it. How do I keep it from? Is this on the right way? Yeah. Damn, they make this look easy on the internet. Oh. It started to set up, we bull floated it twice. Uh, 
as per the rec recommendation of people who are way smarter than us, because we are idiots that don't know what we're doing. We'll edge it, then we wait, because we gotta let this set up a little bit, and then it's on to the stamping, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm very nervous for. I can't say thank you enough. Frank Bryan came in, Justin, one of the owners, is literally in the hole, in the pit, with us. Just awesome local guy. Really cool, if you're in the Pittsburgh area, they've done everything from like entire industrial buildings to residential patios and sidewalks like this. So check them out, I'll have a link down in the description. Huge shout out to those guys. That was good. Stepped on the spike, it went straight. Is that your butt? Oh yeah. I stepped straight on the inside of the pin. Nice outdoor shower. Yeah, special water feature in this guy. All right, so right now we're waiting for it to set up so it can take the stamps. Next, you'll see us flicking Keller, which is also a release onto the concrete. And then they'll start walking out the stamps, timing thing. So we really gotta wait till it's like just set up enough that it'll hold the shape and then they'll be able to walk on it. This is why pros do this and you don't DIY it. We ain't afraid of anything around here. These are the stamps. The big to do right now is, oh God. Calls in. Oh, God. oh my God. Huh? I was just <laughs> waiting for you to, like, anyway. We're gonna test one in the corner where it's starting to set up more from being in the sun. And this is gonna be where the kitchen's gonna go. So if we ruin it, we'll just bull float it back out and it should be fine. Well, we can fine. also bull float it back out, right? Yeah. So you don't need to panic. It's like anything, the stain, a paint, or whatever. Test somewhere where you can hide it. Don't test it in the middle of everything. It's a little sinky, like yeah. hell sinky at least, not Titanic sinky. I just don't know, Benton, and all of you wonderful people on the internet. There's a very delicate balance between go and no go. I think we need a little more time, and it's gonna be a party. All right, so we are starting to get to the point where we're able to think, we think we can stamp it. Sam and Jordan are gonna take the reins on being the ones walking on it, considering I'm the fattest and stupidest and I already fell in. So I'm gonna flick this um, dark gray coloring pigment and uh, release onto it, and then you'll watch these guys walk out. Looks like we know what we're doing. Shh, don't tell anybody. I think by the time you get over here, it'll be all right. Yeah. It's a little, a little wet, but just stick the random one down. Just press it around it. Okay. And then we'll come back with the trowel. Got it. That counter is going to be here, so okay. it should hide. This pipe is inside yep. the counter. Yep. These are made in America, so at least we have that going for us. This is about as America as it gets for being a Fourth of July weekend. I'm stoked. Starting to hold. We're not really sure. None of us have a ton of experience doing this. We don't know exactly if we're good or not. So we're just gonna keep going and pray that we don't ruin it. We're scared, we're sweaty, and I hope there's cold beer at the end of this. The flimsy ones are for the edging because the patterns can't get to the edge. Uh, it'll leave some gaps and stuff. So it'll still have the texture and then you can come back and use a different tool to make it look like it's a stone. I didn't hire anyone to do the driveway at my new house. No, no so, way. No. We're gonna do this? Absolutely not. <laughs> I got a guy we can call though. I'm over here, soaked to the bone. Vacation. We've got a complete stranger. You're good. Working harder than Jordan. You're in Crocs. I, I don't have he did fall in once. <laughs> They're doing a killer job. I feel like, I'm, feel like a prick because I'm doing what's called bird dogging. And if you've uh, ever been on a job and you have the client standing over your shoulder telling you what you're doing or not doing, that's called bird dogging. It is nice to get a vantage point of someone standing above it, looking on it. We have some inconsistent drying happening because of the way the shade was. So these guys are chasing areas that are a little bit more firm. And then I can see where moisture is still coming through and kind of let them know, like, go over here, come over here, go over there. It's looking awesome. You guys are gonna freaking love this. So yeah, be more awesome. Ryan. Yeah, that All would right. be a great dive. Well, we're waiting on that. I'm just gonna lay down here and sleep. Goodbye. Catching this. What? Quick. That'd be overhand. Yes! I was so scared to do this. Justin, Frank Bryan Concrete is the MVP. He gets trophies, beers, barbecue, boots. We're, gonna, we're hooking him up with all the things for how hard he worked today. Definitely outworked all of us. He outworked all of us. and. He's allegedly a clean boot guy, so. So this is done. Uh, we just have to pull these last couple pads that are now stamped. John's touching up a couple corners that we couldn't quite get into without the flex. I think it's time to drink beer. Somebody else clean this up. 
I'm just essentially creating grout lines to where the pattern couldn't create grout line. I learned about it actually when we did the brick on my deck. And if you haven't seen that, go watch it, you clowns. I feel like I throw up, but that's fine. All right, it's the next day. We're dry. Ish. Ish. Sam survived, put in a day's worth of work yesterday that monumental. Stones should be carved in, in Mount well, Rushmore fashion. Stones were stamped. Stones were stamped. But it's looking awesome. Now we've got to uh, spray it off and cut the relief joints. So we're gonna do that and then we'll hit it with a pressure washer for a little bit of a deeper spray and uh, and get this thing sealed. So let's get ripping. So there's a lot of dust on here. Yeah, we might have overhandled. There was absolutely zero instruction on the volume of dust. The pros at the store sold us five gallons of the stuff, so we figured we should use a lot of it. Well, Hose wasn't getting her done, so now we gotta bust out the old pressure washer. It's like the one thing we don't own, so we had to borrow it. If you want any opinions on this pressure washer specifically, DM Sam on Instagram. Well, this project just keeps getting better. I mean, I was super happy with the way it looked. As soon as we tore up the pavers, uh, it already was better. And we were like, damn, this looks good. My wife and I were checking it out last night. She's super happy with it, which is really all that matters, right? Huge. She didn't really trust what the hell we were doing. I don't know that, I don't know if she fully understood or just is used to my and John's chaos and it's just like, whatever, nerds, just don't make it suck. We did a light pressure washing. We'll probably pressure wash it again a time or two just to really get all the dirt out of it. Because of the texture of it, It does. it's not like a perfectly flat surface so the water will never, fully come off of it, but it does drain. We need to cut some relief joints into the concrete. We've got a diamond wheel here on an angle grinder. Did you say wheel? Diamond wheel. Can I get some of that pie and cool whip? What did you say? By using the guard here, this should set our depth and we'll be cutting like, I think it's like two inches or so, about halfway through. And that way when the concrete expands and contracts, it should crack down these joints and not like randomly somewhere and make issues. Uh, or at least that's the theory. So we're gonna run some chalk lines and Sam's gonna burn these in. Should be awesome. We finally got enough good weather to get sealant onto the patio and it made a massive difference. This thing looks amazing. I think Yens will definitely agree. One of the more ambitious projects, we've never done anything like this before, but it was a lot of fun and we learned a ton. If you haven't seen part one, I've got the entire playlist of our outdoor series here queued up right here. Check that out. And don't forget, you can enter to win one of our four Pit Boss prizes with the link down in the description. Now go watch that video. Go, go.